Hi. Hi. I uh, hope we're not going to have any more trouble from you today. There is, it won't be from me. Yeah, if I have you, that's the way I'd keep it. I want your advice, I'll ask for it, okay? Well, the fresh air hasn't improved your manners, has it? I wonder why. Yeah, you know, I was quite looking forward to young Fowler getting his comeuppance. Just my luck, I get landed with you. You stay out of my way, I'll stay out of yours. It's a permanent arrangement, then. You found your true vocation. None of your business. Everything out here is my business. You do well to remember that. Oh, the, the forecast for snow later. Hey, Ian! Oh, somebody's still speaking to me. You do realise you're making my life a misery, don't you? Hey? Well, have you any idea what it's like over there? It's pulling up in arms, Aunt Nelly's on her eye horse, and I'm in the doghouse. Well, what are you done? They keep telling me, as a man of the family, I ought to sort all this problem business out. Well, what is it to sort out? Well, you haven't been very fair to Mark, have you? Arthur, oh, he was only looking after it. You know that as well as I do. It was never meant to be cool. I know, but the way they're talking, anyone would think you'd stolen the crown jewels or something. They want me to talk some sense into you. Well, go on, Nick. What? Talk some sense into me. Were well, you doing any good? No. I hope not. I told him how big-headed you were. Listen, you get that from the Bill side of the family. So why don't you tell them you just did it anyway? Did what? Talk some sense into me. Well, that's an idea. Mm. Only, uh, lay it on thick, will you? Tell them I really laid into you. Read you the right hand. Oh, yeah. Never seen me so angry. Good lad. I'll see you. <laughs> see you later on. Yeah, tell her. Apparently, all hell was let loose. Ian chap Mark the stall took over himself. Well, it's a bit under the arm, isn't it? No, oh, he's got a point. He's pizza, not Mark. Mm. Here, then. Does that mean I'll get the car lot if you snuff it? <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> well, it would be, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, well. it will probably be the you that puts me in an early grave, wouldn't it? Now, what have I done? I've got a list somewhere. I ain't done nothing wrong. How about sending a blue metro to Michelle Fowler for a start? You're the one that bought it. That is beside the point, sir. I mean, how long have you been a car dealer? You still get done. I didn't get done. It was a misunderstanding, that's all. Well, yeah, the geezer that had it, Nick, didn't understand you selling it. How would you like a dig? Is it always like this first thing in the morning? Mostly, yeah. What about you? Your graceness with your presence this morning, are you? Yeah, I Good, I good, 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 because I've got some people to see. Well, this way we'll have more staff than motors. Well, we can always lose one winkle, can't we? I'm always in here. Come on, boy. I'll just help this, Frank. I'll be over, all right? Yeah. What you, you up to sure today, up Frank? There. There are a few people to see. That's it. Come on, boy. Right. Come on! All right. Do you want something cooked, love? No, this is fine for me, thanks. Right. You know the thing about Ian on the stool? Mm-hmm. Did the old man leave a will? No idea. Yeah, but if he did, it ain't been read yet, is it? Well, I don't know. Why? No reason. Morning. What? What are you doing here? I live here. No, I mean, uh, uh, shouldn't you be on your stool? Have your word. I quit. Hey? Ian laid claim to his birthright, so I told him he was welcome to it. That's a bit of a blow, isn't it? Yeah, we'll see. Want a cuppa? Yeah, cheers. So what's it like then? What? Not having to get up at dawn to go and squeeze cauliflowers. It's like I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> so what are you going to do with yourself now? Well, I suppose I better get myself another job. Unless you fancy paying the rent on your own. Oh, I wish I could. Nigel. Yeah. You all right? Me? Well, when I came back last night, you'd gone to bed. Uh, no, I just, just fancied an early night, that's all. Morning. I'm, uh, making a cup of tea. Oh, darling. Oh, hiya. All right. Well, you've got to look at it from Ian's point of view as well. He's got a wife and three kids to think about now. Yeah, but Mark's worked really hard on that stall. I know, but I saw him in the pub at lunchtime. He didn't seem that bothered. Needs a rocket up his backside. It's not Mark's fault. Mark should have refused to let Ian take the stall in the first place. Give him a bloody nose. Mark's not like that. That Ian's too big for his boots. Wouldn't do him any harm. Take him down a peg or two. Mum, I have to admit, I do think this is what Uncle Pete would have wanted. Oh, I'm not so sure. Wouldn't have had all this when your mum was alive. What does Dad say? I've told him, have a word with Ian, tear him off a strip. <laughs> Arthur couldn't tear a strip off a rice pudding. Look, Shell, will you have a word with him? Me? Yeah, he might listen to you. No, I doubt it. Or couldn't you try? Well, what do you want me to say exactly? Just hand the store back over to Mark? Oh, I don't know. I mean, either way, you know, one of them's going to be out of work. Unless Ian kept the store and had Mark working for him. Oh, my God. Where are you going? I'll be there in a minute, all right? 
Kathy. You're all right, darling. Yes, thanks. Uh, I was wondering uh, if you had a bit of time to think over that bit of business we discussed yesterday. What, the calf? Yeah. Yes, I have. Oh, good. Darling. And I'm yes. really sorry, Frank. There's no way I can afford it. <clears throat> well, you know, maybe I can shave a few hundred quid It's off, no darling. good, Frank. I haven't even got 900, let alone nine grand, and I don't want to get in any more of it. Well, look, Paul, hurry up, will you? We start things with frost speaker. All right, come in, all right. Okay, maybe a little, little bit more time, I think. It right, wouldn't darling. do any good, Frank. I'm really sorry. Yeah, thank you. Oh, baby, you're probably right. Well, I mean, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it, can you? No. Eric, do you tell Frank? What does he say? No, I suppose not. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Bye. Hi, Frank. What do you want? I got some nibbling at the Sierra. How much that one coming at? Sierra, I think I came in at 14. Yeah, 14. Right, I see what I can do. Okay. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. you still after a motor for Michelle Fowler? Yes, but if I don't, I'll never hear the last of it, will I? It's just I've had this guy on the blow this morning. Uh, says he came in last week, looked to the Red Escort, remember? Yeah, and? Well, he reckons he's got an ex reg Fiesta he wants to trade in, and I thought that might do her nicely. He said he'd give us screen prices on ours, and uh, I looked in the book, offered him 300 for it. What do you reckon? Cash. Half hour. Yeah, that's right, but uh, tie up today. He's on his way in. All right. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, he's with it. See ya. Oh, Frank. Crying out loud, I'll come over here for a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, it was a bad time, man. Phil, I'm sorry, man. I'm out of order. I'm feeling a bit ragged. <laughs> so that we're going to do you. Well, Cappy tells me that you're selling your share of calf. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You got a buyer? Uh, well, no, I've had a few nibbles, why? Well, it's just that if Cappy's getting a new partner, I'd like to know who it is. Yeah, well, I can't blame him, really. But by the same token, you can't blame him for taking the best price off her, can you? From uh, whoever it may be. Yeah, if anyone does. Sorry? Well, the way I see it is that uh, the building ain't worth a carrot. The only value the calf's got is as a business. So? So I wouldn't have thought there'd be that many people looking to put their dime on a greasy <laughs> spoon. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we, Phil? Yeah. Of course, the obvious buyer's Cathy, but, uh, well, she reckons she can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So she says. And uh, then there's me. You? Yeah, well, I might be interested in the right money. Well, you mean as a present? Yeah, a bit like that. Well, 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 I say, very generous, very generous. I think she's worth it. Uh, well, the house in price is 9,000. Well, that's the problem, Frank. It's, uh, it's a bit strong for me. Well, uh, what did you have in mind, then? Four and a half. Four and a half grand? What, are you out for a lark or something? That's all I got, mate. What do you think? I'll tell you what I think, Phil. I think you and Kathy had a nice little chat underneath the duvet and come up with an idea, eh? You can have one over on me. Leave it, eh? Oh, so you just happen to have 50% of the arsing price lying around, do you? Yeah. Well, do you got me down as some sort of donut? I've been around too long, pal. All right, Frank. That's how you feel, mate. That's how I feel, mate. But listen, if you, you change your mind, uh, you know where I am, right? Yeah, yeah, I know where you are, yeah. This is it, is it? Yep. He's had a good look around. It seems all right. Yeah, well, exhausting all that. The dodgy tyre and the final's going a bit. It's going to have to do. Wipe it down with a damn cloth and bring me the keys, yeah? Yeah. You still going to charge me 500 quid? Don't ask stupid questions! I'm going to have a drink. Huh. You heard what the man said. Well, where are you going? I've got a bit of business. You know, for somebody so keen to get their hands on the store, you seem to be spending an awful lot of time in here. It's your first break all day. Yeah, I believe you. One drink. Yeah, have a bottle of beer, please. No, has your mother calmed down yet or what? Not exactly, no, which is why I'm here. Um, you got a minute? Yeah. Cheers, Cheers thanks. All I've got to do is offer Mark a job. Yeah, that way Mark's happy, Mum's happy, and you still get what you want. Does Mark know about this? Uh, no, he doesn't. I thought I'd talk to you about it first. What do you reckon? Yeah, I suppose so. Do anything for a quiet life. Brilliant. Dad, all done. Where is it? Outside. Is it clean? Yeah. Michelle. Frank. Have you got a minute, darling? Yeah, why? Follow me, folks. Well, there it is, Michelle. What do you think, darling? A bit old, isn't it? Well, that's where it gets a bit deceiving, darling. You see, this motor car's done less mileage than the one you had before. 
The engine is as clean as a whistle, and it has what we call in the trade as a highly desirable colour. How much? Well, if I put it on the front, door, I'll probably get about 700 quid for it. 700? But by way of an apology for all the inconvenience that you've had, I'm willing to let it go for exactly the same price as you pay for the other one. I don't know. And, as an extra bonus, I'll throw in a full 14-day warranty. Oh, that's generous of you, Frank. What do you think? Well, I do need a car. Go on, you got a deal. Good girl. The only thing is, Miss Shaw, I'm going to be under a pound deposit back then. I'll give it to you today. Good girl. In that case, your carriage awaits. <laughs> Where's David? Fair. He said he had a bit of business. What sort of business? I don't know. He didn't say. I'll be over home if you want me. Right. Enjoy, darling. So you're the guy that runs the market, ain't you? We met in here a couple of weeks ago. David Weeks. Oh, yeah. Right. I hear you nearly had a riot in your hands yesterday. Huh? Fruit and vegetable or something, wasn't it? Oh, you mean the Beal family feud? Oh, the Beals, yeah, that was it. Why, well, do you know? Yeah, just so, uh, you know. A lot of fuss, though, isn't it? Over a few spuds and carrots. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. What do you mean? Well, it's not a veg to fight, you know, is it? It's the pitch. The pitch? Yeah. I mean, people pay a lot of money for a pitch like that. You're kidding. Oh. What sort of money are we talking about, then? Well, let's see, I know people who pay, what, nine? Ten grand? Ten grand? That much, eh? Easy. Who'd have thought? Actually, I'm glad you're here, because I was coming over to see you anyway. Oh, yeah. I want to get some checks in the post tonight. Checks? Yeah, we had some red bills in last week. And the Dezo's parking fine joint page yet. You know, they're 25 quid each. Bloody leeches they are. Yeah, maybe. If you don't pay them, you end up in court, and that's going to cost more money. Well, they can go and whistle for it, can't they? Frank, they're overdue enough hey, as it it's is. Not, it's not the money. It's not the money, darling. It's just the principle we're talking about here. Oh, that suits yourself. And is the gas bill a matter of principle and oh, all? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. And the water rates? If you must. You've got to have water, Frank. I said yes, didn't I? I said yes! Yes, but it's the way you say it, like it, like it's my fault. I know we're a bit tight on cash at the moment, but surely we can pay our well, way. Well, it's not that. It's the way you know you, you wait everything till the last minute and give, give me everything at once. That's what it is. Oh, come on. If I give you the bills as they come in, you say, wait for the red ones. I can't win. Yeah, all right. Well, give me them. Come on, give me them. Come on, give me All right, all right, but don't do me any favours. I work on all your know. I know you work, I know you work. Yeah, well, don't treat me like a kid that's asking for pocket money. This house don't run itself. I know it doesn't. Maybe if you got over there and sold a few cars, we wouldn't have to have this conversation. And you might be in a better mood. How is he? Brilliant. He's doing yeah. really well. The consultant's come around at four o'clock, and then if he's happy, I can bring him home. Oh, great. Do you know what? I can't wait for us all to be together again as a family. Yeah. So how's it going in here, then? Yeah, all right. Fifty quid up on yesterday already. <gasps> Seems like we're really doing well now, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. You ain't seen nothing. This is just the start. I'm going to make everything I've done before, the meal machine, the calf, look like chicken food. Ian, don't you think we ought to see what we've got for now, eh? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, all right. Listen, Pat said you babysit. How would you fancy take me for lunch? Hmm. Our first time in the vet? Yeah, see you later. See you later. Oh, he's he just gone down the post office for me. All right, well, look, uh, Ian's coming around in half an hour, so keep Mark here till he gets back, yeah? Oh, he's agreed to take him on, has he? As long as you've got to stop giving him grief. Oh, I'll have a word with Auntie Nelly. Good. Did I tell you, got me car. No. Yeah, Frank sorted me out with one this morning. Oh, lovely. What's it like? Seems okay. Dodgy colour, though. I've taken oh. it around the block a couple of times. It's all right. Right. Listen, do you want a sandwich or something while you're here? No, no, no. I had something at the cafe. I'm going to get going. Remember, um, keep Mark here till one, yeah? Yeah, OK. See you later. Try now. What does Mark say? Well, he doesn't know yet. I'm going to go around to Arthur Pauline's tell him now. And you reckon we can afford to pay him? Well, we'll have to, won't we? Look, at least this way we come out of it with something. Which is more than we had yesterday, isn't it? Everybody's happy. I don't have to put them... Well, Pauline staring at me every time she sets foot out of her backyard. All right, Frank, what are you having? Not a lot of things, Grant. Phil, have you got a minute, please? Yeah. Are you, uh... <coughs> are you still interested in the cafe? Yeah, you know I Well, I thought about what you said, and, uh... Well, I... I had a push, I'll take seven. It's still too strong, Frank. What do you mean, too strong? Look, cards on the table, and also, I'm, I'm in Stuck. I've got to raise some money quickly. If I don't, I don't even want to think about it. That seven grand's going to give me a bit of breathing space. I can't do it, mate. We both know you got me over a barrel here. 
talk to me. I've got five grand to help back. Cash. Tomorrow. No, no, it's no good tomorrow. Oh, I've got to put some money in the bank today. We can have a kite in half an hour. You're turning me over, you know, don't you? Frank, five grand, take it or leave it. You bought yourself a third in the calf for Phil. She's twice you've earned out on me. Once with a flat, and now with a calf. I figure you owe me one. All right, what would you have in mind? Can't talk to you. Uh, you said you'd have the sex to me, what, half hour? A push, yeah. Bring around home, we'll talk to you. All right, see ya. Oh, didn't hit me, are they? thought you'd got lost. Yeah, it was mobbed. It only had one window open, I suppose. It's only got the one. There, you see. Anyway, I think I'll hit round the cafe. I'll get myself a bit of dinner. No, 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 stay here. I'll do something for you. No, fancy a fry-up. Well, I can cook a bit of egg and bacon, you know. Okay. All right, sure. All right, Mark. What's he doing here? Look, just listen to what he has to say, Mark. It's about the stall. Oh, you're fed up already, are you? Mark, just listen to me. No, I still think I was right to take it over, but... Well, maybe I didn't go about it the right way. Oh, really? All this arguing's stupid, so I thought of a way of sorting things out so everyone's happy. Oh, this I've got to hear. You come and work for me. I'll still own the stall, but well, you run it for me. You're winding me up. We did it for me, Dad. That was different. Mark, it's the same stall. I'm not saying I can pay Is the same Is this got anything to do with you, Mum? Well, I just thought it was a good idea. So let me get this straight. I work for you running the stall. Yeah. And I do everything I was doing before, but I'll give you the take-ins and you pay me a wage. Yeah, so what do you think? I think you can stick... Mark! Come on, Mum. I mean, what does he take me for? He swans in here, announces he's taken over the stall, and all of a sudden he feels a little bit guilty, then decides to throw me a few crumbs. I don't feel guilty about anything. So what's all this about, then? It was my idea. Well, then you should know better, shouldn't oh, you? come on, somebody had to do something. Oh, see, this is a waste of time. Yeah, too right. Great idea, Shell. I'm surprised at you two going growling to him. We weren't groveling. No, or well, whatever you were doing, the next time you try and arrange my life, have a decent you ask me about it first, all right? Anyone for a cup of tea? Yeah, come. Frank. Ah, Frank. Five grand, mate. Thanks, my old son. Cheers. Someone's drawing up the paperwork now. It should take a week to ten days. Fine, thank you. Frank, uh... I know you think I took liberties, but, uh, well, tell me you wouldn't have done the same, eh? No, I wouldn't have done an actual fact, Phil. I would have screwed you down at three and a half grand, because you know I would have taken it. So soft, that's my trouble, eh? Yeah. Uh, talking of which. What's that? Uh, that little matter of a favour that you owe me. Yeah, I'm listening. Well, uh, a few weeks ago you told me about a friend of yours that arranged a fire for the insurance. I did, yeah. And they paid out. Yeah. Well, as you now know, I've been having some severe financial problems. Frank, myself. can uh, we cut through the crap? What is it you want? Well, let's just say I want to keep as many options open as I possibly can. Foreign a car lot being one of them. If it comes to it, yeah. So where do I fit? Well, if I if I did, you know, fire the car lot, I'd have to be somewhere else, wouldn't I? Well, have you got any sense, yeah? Which means I would have to need someone to actually do the job for me. Oh, here we go. What do you think? You want me to fire the car lot? If it comes to it, yeah. Phil, you've had two good cracks out of me. First a flat, and now the cafe. All I'm asking for is a little bit in return. What, you scratch my back and uh, I can not ask of you, that sort of thing, yeah? I couldn't have put it better myself. What do you think? And this will make us quits? Completely clean slate. Yeah, all right? Good, good, good. Frank, mm. this is strictly between me and you. If you start having it off, and I'll go away. I won't be happy. Yeah, come on, Phil. That goes without saying. Fair enough. Just let me know when, yeah? Uh, Phil, by the same token, um, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Oh, cheers, my thanks. I'm in shake. You didn't think he was doing us a favour. At least you've done everything right. They can't have a go at you about it. Oh, there is that, I suppose. Hello, Ian. David. How's business? All right? Yeah, all right. Got a little gold mine here by the looks of it. Oh, is that right? Just taking the brotherly interest. Half brotherly. Right. Well, for what it's worth, I think you were right in taking the stool. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be proud to see someone working here, don't you? You think so, too. And if we can make a few quid in the process, all the better. We? Yeah. Like I said, as his son, you've got every right to be working here. And as his other son, 
I've got a right to claim my half. Partner. 